Okay, so now we're going to look at the lungs or breathing. Firstly, we are going to look at expiration. This is when air moves out of the lungs. During expiration, the internal intercostal muscles contract and the external intercostal muscles relax. The ribs move downwards to decrease the volume of the, in the thorax. The diaphragm muscles relax, causing it to pull up, which also decrease the volume of the thorax. Then, the decreased volume results as an increase in pressure in the lungs. This is because pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other. Then, the pulmonary pressure is now greater than the atmospheric pressure, so air is forced out of the lungs, down the pressure gradient. The next example we're going to look at is inspiration. This is when air moves into the lungs. During this, external intercostal muscles contract and internal intercostal muscles relax. The ribs are pulled upwards to increase the volume in the thorax. The diaphragm muscles contract, causing it to flatten, which also increase the volume of the thorax. The increased volume results as a decrease in pressure in the lungs. Air pressure in the atmosphere is now greater than in the lungs, so air is forced into the lungs. This process requires energy as ATP.